this stuff financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, the YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get a videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. Man, it gets a false narrative the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, when Adam Aaron first brought the reverse split to our attention, even though we have found out that he was planning this a long time before with Antara and Citigroup, but that's for another video. But he said that a reverse split would get the shortest to cover. We know that's not true. Reverse split do not obligate shortest to cover. He said it was to stop AMC from, AMC from being delisted. We know that AMC is in no fear of being delisted. And he said it was to raise revenue and pay off debt. And we all know that it will not raise revenue or pay off debt. And here's the thing. As of our earnings report, AMC is doing well. AMC generating cash. AMC is making money. And possibly by next quarter or the quarter after that, AMC is going to be profitable. So why would we have a reverse split now? We know that it won't force the shorts to cover. We already know that. Adam Aaron has admitted that it won't have no change in the stock price. Adam Aaron's own words. And as I told you in the previous video, Adam Aaron said in Vegas that he wants a reverse split now because he doesn't want to be ashamed by having a $3 stock. So, so he wants a reverse split for vanity. Okay? Adam Aaron is claiming he wants a reverse split for vanity. But based on everything that's going on, the only entities that benefit from a reverse split is the bad actors and the hedges. Nobody else benefits from the reverse split but the bad actors and the hedges. Okay? Bottom line. So, anybody who voted yes, who, who after seeing everything, still believe that a reverse split is warranted, is not really looking at the numbers. Is not looking at the numbers. The look at AMC is slowly creeping up. And this is with all the pressure, all the Millions of counterfeit shares that they're shorting into the market every single day to push the price down, and they can't get it down. Okay, and the thing is, the judge, the judge is gonna see through all the nonsense. The judge is gonna see through all the fraud, and when she does, this might end up in criminal court. And that's just my opinion. I'm gonna tell you to buy, hold, or sell AMC, but I'm telling you that everything that's going on, I see. I see criminal activity afoot. I see fraud. I see corruption. I see conspiracies to the fraud retail investors. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think there's a legitimate reason for a reverse split given the current situation of AMC? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.